Come on, Sookie, stay with me. Come on, please. This episode begins with Alcide running with Sookie when she's snatched by Bill and taken into the house, whereupon Bill feeds her his blood and, and saves her life yet again. And so now Sookie's got Eric's blood and Bill's blood in her. What are you waiting for? We realized we, we needed to have a threesome dream because that's where Sookie's mind would be. She's not, she's not ready to let go of her feelings for Eric. And so Sookie is reawakening to her feelings about Bill and wishing in this dream sequence that she could have her cake and eat it too. I can love both of you. That I don't have to be yours or yours. I'm proposing that the two of you be mine. What is so important about this event that you are willing to risk your life and mine? Right now, crews from CNN, VTV, Fox News, and bloggers from across the country are already outside the hotel waiting. What would you have me tell them? Both Bill and Nan have a point. She is seeing things through the myopic lens of, of the media. She has a reason for that. Bill doesn't know that, and he can't understand for the life of him why she's letting this go forward, so... He does the best he can, he bolsters security, uh, both human and vampire, but, uh, you know, we're only in episode nine, so things still have to go worse. Eric is basically kind of a vampire zombie and is doing Antonio's bidding. Suki realizes this and realizes that his mission is to go after Bill, and so Suki's off to go try to save Bill before it's too late. We must remain vigilant. Bill! Suki? So she's torn between two lovers. Run! What we have in Mavis is a character who's in deep, deep, deep denial. Oh, my baby. Lafayette? She doesn't understand or doesn't want to acknowledge the fact that her baby has died, so she's confusing Mikey uh, with, with her baby, uh, who she never even really got to name. Nelson is, is so fantastic at, at what he does. Uh, we got him together with Nando Miso. She was the actress playing Mavis, and they got together to get the, um, the accent right. And he took on a lot of her mannerisms. On the flip side of it, you know, in the midst of all this supernatural stuff, you've also got to sort of imagine, as you're writing this, what it would be like for Terry and Arlene. Why are you doing this, Lafayette? My name's Mavis! <sighs> whose really good friend has abducted their baby. They don't know that he's been possessed by some woman named Mavis, so you have to play the reality of that on the other side. I'm gonna get your baby back. So this, this inside-outside dynamic at that house was, was a lot of fun, but also a real challenge, trying to keep both stories going. Damn it. He's a nurse. He's just a nurse. Lafayette being a medium uh, was something that was just like there for the taking. Like we didn't really know going into the season that's what it was gonna be. We knew we had magic, but you know, we have these these two storylines that both involve possession. And I think they'll come together really, you know, neatly and organically. This thing that Jesus finds that he's able to do, and this thing that Lafayette finds that he's able to do is going to um, prove helpful to the people of Bonton. You fed the chocolate.